It's like a flying log trapeze. Yes. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, I've got 11 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got six new and four updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got one new. Let's check it out. First up today, you'd be crazy to think that we were not going to start with the North Mining Company Timber Loader. The NMC Timber Loader is an attachment for the Griffin. It is designed to make loading and unloading of timber easy and is used on the landings when the timber trucks don't have cranes or run with the ETT-90. I don't know what that is. With a large grapple telescopic boom, you can reach pretty much whatever you want. And you've even got tension belts on there. And look at this. This is standard. I didn't raise it up or anything. That's where it puts it. It's like, you know what? Griffin, mayor. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Let's go check it out. Let's jump in. Now, I'm going to go in and we're just going to go to Brands and North Money Company, but go to Tools and Logging Equipment. Otherwise, boom, right here it is. The Timber Loader, super cheap, $15,000. It's only two different things you could do. Main color, you've got a base standard color, which is a little in between Agco and gray. Otherwise, any color in here that you want, any color that you like, you're good to go. I always love seeing that. And then tension belts. You've got tension belts, yes or no, and those are going to be inside the grapple. Doesn't cost you anything extra. $500 for the color. Ba-boom. There you go. What do you guys think about this? This thing is super cool. Controls and stuff, not terrible either. Very easy to maneuver, very easy to understand. Um, you can see right here, we've got the log. Now, you could get up to a certain point. I think it's like right here or something like that, maybe a little bit higher. It actually will like grab it from a ways down, which I was not expecting at all, which I thought was super cool. And we could just let it go, let it do its thing. We could actually unfold this bad boy. Boom, just like that. Even take off with this thing. So you could drive it and <laughs> you could drive it and use it all at the same time though i don't highly recommend that um i think the truck's pretty pretty good on its own but you get a bunch of logs on here and you might run into some serious trouble so you definitely want to do that now pretty easy way to attach and unattach well you just back into it just get the uh the shorter of the uh, of the griffins right here <laughs> brain fart and then just attach you're good to go what do you guys think about this? Let me know. This is pretty sweet, isn't it? Give me that piece of log. Yeah, got it. Next up, we have Sheep Husbandry by DD Mod Passion. Husbandry Sheep includes a small and large place to keep your sheep, uh, basically like the in-game areas. The wool produced will be placed on pallets or placed on pallets inside of a container. This pack includes the container as well for the load of wool pallets. Pallet can be loaded or unloaded wool only when it is attached to a pallet fork, except the double width ones of the CSZ equipment pack or attached without using a fork or pallets to any vehicle. So you've got a compact loader, front loader, telescopic, and wheel loader. Small version is going to cost you 65 grand, and a large version is going to cost you 65 grand as well. And they are both seasons ready. Next new mod for all platforms today, Sheep Pasture. This is a smaller object barn for sheep, and you can put it in the game. <laughs> love some of these things there they're translated awful uh capacity's 35 sheep price is 6500 bucks daily upkeep 60 dollars per day and it will have a manual light inside that's pretty cool next new mod for all platforms is husbandry chicken also by dd mod passion pretty much exactly the same as the husbandry sheep but for chickens there you go small version is going to cost you twenty thousand dollars large version is going to cost you forty thousand dollars and again they are both seasons ready and another one by dd mod passion your next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the placeable refill silos boom baby these are cool so you've got base food right here which is going to have a lot of different things then of course you have seed fertilizer lime pig food horse food or just oats and also chicken food or just wheat these things look pretty sweet, don't they? Now, we do have some stuff in game like this, but you're probably thinking of the silos pack where the IT, I think it's the IT runner silos. Yeah, this is not that. These are just placeable. You put them down wherever you want. They do charge you a little bit. However, I did jump into here and I filled this up with a thousand liters of seed just to test it out to see what it costs you. And it was only about $100 more. So it looks like it cost you around maybe, what was it? 10% ish, maybe 5%, maybe even less than that. Uh, so it cost me a thousand dollars instead of 900 for a thousand liters of seed. So it's not great, but 
it's certainly better than a lot of the other stuff I gave. I love the way this looks. This can be found in the shop under placeables and in miscellaneous. They can be kind of hard to find, but just go down to the end. You'll be good to go. Very cool mod. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the diesel tank. This guy right here is going to cost you 3200 bucks. Capacity is 2000 liters and it is diesel. It's just a pallet full of diesel. This is going to be good for those of you that maybe accidentally let your tractor run out of gas in the field. I wouldn't know anything about that. Um, so don't ask me, but I imagine there's been more than one of you guys out there that have done that. Well, this allows you to not have to go and get a tank because for example, if we go into tools and we jump into miss the first one right here, it's a diesel tanker, this guy right here, but it's going to cost you 8,500 bucks and you need a tractor to pull it around. Well, with this guy, you just need a pallet fork, something like that. Or if you got the heavy lift, <laughs> wee, <laughs> come on, give me. You can just lift it up and do it all around if you're on PC. So this is neat. This has a great place. I think this was something that was missing from the game, and I'm glad we have it. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. First, we have the Fiat Agri Winter F Series. This is going to be changed all 1.2. Fix the item stored at a two-wheel drive showed incorrect information. Fix the issue with the wheels only Michelin duplicate. Fix the front weight size. Fix the no sound after certain speed. Fix various mesh issues. Also fix the axle swinging and they've added the F-130 Series 2 Fiat riding on Series 2 and smaller tire options as standard. And an update to Goldcrest Valley. Changelog 1.0.3 support for seasons. Added sheep, added pigs, added horses, added a manure purchase point, added slurry purchase point. Oh yeah, all the good things there. Corrected the sawmill, corrected the levitating cows building. Hey, I like it when buildings levitate. Changed the environment of the whole map. Changed the mini map, fixed the railway, sal or rail railway silos, and fixed visual bugs. Great update. Next to last update for all platforms today is going to be Cowshed. This is going to be update 1.1. Change visuals, added lights, added season snow mask, and change the mod description. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be the fill trigger conveyor belts. This is going to be change log 1.3. Grimmy TC 8016 has been added. So this guy right here will now auto load as well. Or fill trigger auto load. Why? Uh, new, <clears throat> new colors. We got colors all over the place. Yo. And we even have some stuff. Chrome. Yep, that's what I want. Uh, leave it up to Holger Sandstuck to literally do the cool, some of the coolest stuff that you've seen in Farming Simulator. It's so cool. I can't wait to watch Mr. Silly P's video. I love the way he says it because I say it wrong, I'm sure. You also have Fortress and uh, <laughs> the brown and the lime green in there as well as base colors. Sweet. Oh, and fix small issues. There you go. And your one new mind for PC and Mac players today is basketball soccer yeah <laughs> it's kiwake i don't know how to say it this is a small map with a polish atmosphere the map has got the polish atmosphere why does it say it twice three farms pigs cows and chickens over 40 fills biogas plant three selling points one sawmill car traffic pedestrians pda scrubs printable bushes or paintable bushes <laughs> new store ui and a whole lot more have a nice game oh my goodness there's a whole lot going on right there let's pop in and let's take a look let's find out where we're at and where we need to be so we are right here this is your bda right here what do you start off with well our main farm is down here with the baby piggies but we also own the cow farm as well that is very nice and then we have another house here with silo and fields 30 and 31 those might be the cheapest fields i've ever seen in my entire life five grand are you serious hey oh yep i'm gonna go ahead and buy that anytime you can buy the outside of the map for nothing do it now what do we get we get quite a few things here Ooh, i will tell you this it is i'm not sure what's going on but it is glitchy it was real bad my computer is not running too hot either let's check out what do we get here so we've got new holland t5 we got a valtra a104 you get the bison get the super pickup oh yeah you get a uh let's see tipper header cultivator cedar cow pasture so that is part of the game grain silo grain silo is going to hold all seven of your primary crops um if you sell it it costs you 20 grand but it holds 100,000 liters that's not awful that's not too bad at all very very cool 
It's a cute little map. I like it. I think there's a lot of you guys that are going to really enjoy this. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Join the GoHam fam. Let me know what mod you're most excited about today. Let me know what mod you're most excited about upcoming. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.